This is a step-by-step -step tutorial based on my first sewing project. It's so good for beginners because it shows you how to draft a very simple pattern and to sew it by hand and to embellish it a little. What we're gonna do is start by drafting the pattern and you're only gonna need um, basic stationery. This is the pattern, it's very simple. It's a three inch square surrounded by a quarter inch seam allowance. So it's basically a three inch square set inside a three and a half inch square. I'm just using a ruler to mark that out in a piece of scrap paper. Just draw a three and a half inch square again and mark a quarter inch in from each side to make a three inch square right in the center. So let's cut that out. And the next thing we're going to do is just prepare the fabric. I'm just using some cotton scrap. You don't need to use the end of the fabric, which is called the selvage. I'm just going to fold over the fabric to cut two squares. So we'll sew them together to be the top and bottom of the pillow. I'm just using the pattern to guide me as I draw a three and a half inch square using a pencil. And then I'm going to use sewing pins to pin the pattern to the two layers of fabric and to cut them all in one big sandwich, trimming the edges to be as smooth as possible. The right side of your fabric is going to be on the inside and the wrong sides will be on the outside. We're going to sew the wrong side together and then flip the pillow inside out. Now let's prepare for sewing by threading the needle. I'm using a larger needle to show you how to thread. Basically, you just get this thread in the eye of the needle, pull it, cut, and tie the two ends together. Prepare for sewing by marking that three inch square using a pencil and then pinning along where you're going to sew. Be sure to mark and opening it one of the sides that's one inch from either side and opening where we're not going to sew so we can flip the pillow inside out and stuff it later on. We're going to be using running stitch. This is a stitch that basically goes in and out and it's a pretty fast stitch. So put your needle in at the starting point and bring it out a little bit further on. You want to make tiny even stitches as much as possible. So in and out. And then in and out. Now be sure as you go to keep smoothing the fabric so that there's no tension and it lays flat. Your stitches must lay flat. Now when you get better at this, you can do a few stitches at a time by gathering the stitches on your needle and then pulling them out in one go. When you're out of thread or you're done sewing, you can make a knot at the end and cut your needle free. This next step is really important. What you need to be doing is snipping extra fabric at the corners so that your corners lie flat and are crips. Now it's time to flip it inside out so I just stick your finger in, reach for one of the corners and bring that corner out and slowly, gently work the fabric. Now I want the corners to turn nicely, so I'm going to use a pair of scissors or something blunt to push out those corners. And now we're going to stuff. So if you're going to do polyester, you're going to need a lot of polyester. 
This is me stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and stuffing it with my fingers. Making sure it's not lumpy and getting that stuffing into all the four corners. You can use the scissors to push it in there if it's necessary. Or if you want to make a bean bag, just use a funnel and pour a little bit of rice in at a time. And this time, you don't want to fill it too full. Whatever it is, you're left with that little opening that's folded over that we're going to whip stitch closed. Now I'm right handed, so whip stitch is basically going from one end to the other, just going right to left, right to left, looping or spiraling over the fabric to make sure that it is sealed. Now for the polyester pillow, you can do this. Poke from the bottom, come out in the center and make a diagonal line. Then go back down to the bottom and come up to the top again and make a line that crosses over that one right in the center and pull tight. And then make a knot and cut off your thread. And this is what the finished pillow looks like. It's so cute and I love it. I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. And if you like it, subscribe and you can request any tutorials. Thanks for watching.